seen a pretty good pattern of that happening. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Richardson. Flushed out right. His third rushing touchdown of the year, number six overall. And the Colts take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. to return from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now is to go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 15 yards is the pick up there on the drive starting very nicely. First down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now they'll change things up. Back to throw now on first down. He finds his man, Pollard. So no gain on the play. And it's second down. You look at this Colt defense. Against the pass, just numbers that they haven't liked. Number 30 in the league right now. You know, when actors get ready for a scene, they often ask the question, what's my motivation? Or what's the motivation of this group? What's their mindset? What's the problem that they have? Will they create an identity that allows them to get better? Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First catch here for London, and also a first down. And he's going to use his legs here. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Boy, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They're giving some different looks here defensively. And they're only going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up. They can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Uh, how about this? They'll change it at the line. They're going to try and throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to pick up the Titans' first down, and he'll have it by plenty as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titan. 
Titans touchdown. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Titans are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they are back to 500 on the year, got the win last weekend, and, and it's one that kept their playoff hopes alive. And if you do have those hopes, 500 is not where you want to be at this point of the year. Now, we know they've battled through some rough patches this season, so it now comes down to how they're going to finish. Not out of it. Can't afford any more missteps, though. On the go. Second and seven. Check it, check it. And he fires one incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Richardson to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. Take it in at the 22. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And it'll be Titan football. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And they were winners the last time they took the field, which was two weeks ago. They had the open week last week, so this is a squad that should be really refreshed and ready to roll. I would agree because when you get that open week after a victory, it does wonders for everyone. Obviously, your body get a chance to hit. And the ball is knocked out, and the Colts pick it up. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. season we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and you know guys either slapping at the ball or the machines you gotta learn to take care of it yeah they lost and now before the ball changes hands they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. And now an audible here into something else. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. For the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Now back to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Juju Brents. And a super return as he gets 
us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. They go play action with Richardson. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And the Titans are going to get the football here at their own 23. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward so the drive's going to start with Pollard and a short pickup to about the 27 it'll be second down I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry he wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole ended up only getting four yards on the carry I think he had designs on that one being bigger Second and six. Over the middle, it's complete. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Got a man, it's London. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. On second down, it's Pollard. Pushing through tacklers at the 30. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. First down, he'll drop to throw it. Flush to his right. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. They'll pitch this out to Pollard. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 14. Calling a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game.
Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Now they'll audible to something else. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You can't be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Shotgun handoff to Palmer. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Tony Pollard, his 12th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Titans will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point attempt here still to come. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Hey. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Richardson to throw off play action. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First and 10, it's Richardson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to Let's bring those now. those two elements together Let's so they can make some progress in this one. Drop 60, drop 60. Richardson on second and 10. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. They'll look to throw now on first down. 
And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Ball resting on the 10 yard line. It's second and one. You're not liking the look. They'll change the play. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 21-7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Colts getting the football first and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25 yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. He broke that line of scrimmage and then let it fly, and that's an automatic flag. Yeah, and you know, you don't just lose the five yards there, but you lose it down as well. So he obviously needs to have better awareness about what he's going to do. Either tuck it and go or throw it to a target and get that pass away. Cup 19! Cup 19! 19 light. On third down, here's Richardson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a coach first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. That complete to Downs. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Richardson off the play fake. And that is incomplete. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they've forced big turnovers already. 
and it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Again, it's Richardson. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 25-yard line. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Richards into the air on first down. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. To the right side, this is Taylor. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's second and ten. Hawk 70, Hawk 70. Richardson on the bootleg here. This is caught. And he is out of bounds here. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Taylor is going to take this one in for a Colts touchdown. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And they're back within a touchdown at Gay to kick this one away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And now they'll shift things around. Second and 11. That's complete. It's Josh Wiley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 46. And London motioning left. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. He's got it to the 43 here. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. On play action, they'll throw. Going deep for Hopkins. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. They'll look to throw. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. has the carry it does not it's no good and this will remain a one touchdown game i don't care who you are 60 yards is a very ambitious attempt hard to make even in practice in the best of conditions and now worst of all you have the other guys the ball to start their drive at midfield yeah boy and it's tough to bring him down that time he surges forward he's going to get a full six out of that second down ball spotted at the 45 here's a second down and four Richardson. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Forced out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Jeffrey Simmons, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Let's go now. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. 19 tight, 19 tight. 79 Bronco. 60 Bobcat, 60 Bobcat. 70 Ranger, 70 Ranger. Mustang 19. Fourth down, desperation time. Here's Richardson, he'll let one go deep for downs. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And this defense will take over right at midfield. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Pollard gets it off the option, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11.
In motion left is Hopkins. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Drop to throw. Going deep for Hopkins. This is caught at the 20. Touchdown, Titans. DeAndre Hopkins, 56 yards. And the Titans are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And he's going to be brought down inside the five at the three. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. First and ten. Here's Richardson with it. Now this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the ten. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second okay, down. Break. Now Richardson going to shift things up. Now Richardson looking to throw on second down. The toss here completed to Pittman. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 18 okay, and a first down. Off play action, Richardson. That is caught, Michael Pittman with it. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Play action, now Richardson. Buying time to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Ready, ready. Now a second and 10. Ready. Richardson working from the gun. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. Yeah. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Yeah, Richardson yet again. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Josh Downs 
a 20-yard touchdown. And the Colts have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays, they're going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal in the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end and you still have the lead. Well, it looks like they'll move things around here. Second and four. Oh, well, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. And in an afternoon where just about everything's going right, there's an unlikely sight there. He's got a receiver all alone downfield, and he just overshoots it. They're going to look to throw. It's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up four. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And Audible here to get a new look. Back to throw here. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Paulson the Debo. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Got a man. It's Pittman, and he pulls it in for the first touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Pollard to return from the end zone. A good-looking return set up here. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. 
Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's second and eight. with now two fourth quarter touchdowns and the Titans strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth they get one more as the extra points up and good and they will take a seven point lead the kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. From the six. They'll come up first and 10 here. Now Richardson. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. On the short game there, but that's okay if you're the offense. They brought a lot of pressure at him, and he uses athleticism to at least get back to the line and make second down a lot shorter than it was looking for a moment. They'll come up now on second down. Richardson to throw it. Got his man, it's Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the coach's going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Here's Richardson. Oh, he's looking for a touchdown deep for Woods. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. Oh, man, late in a tight ball game, every play so critical, you feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. 18 Rattler, 18 Rattler. Panther 11, Panther 11. Richardson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 34-yard line. All right, let's just put it on the table real quick here. This is two-minute drill. You've got to know they're looking for their number one receiver. Yeah, you think they'd be ready for that? That time, they weren't. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. Now Richardson. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. Ready? Here we go. First and goal. Ready? Here's Richardson. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. 
Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Throwing now is Richardson. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked to his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that as so they continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as it kicks away here. Pollard to return from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. This is first and 10. Now they'll change things around before the snap. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And he'll have a first down, but a great tackle there keeps him from getting to the boundary. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. First down, he'll drop to throw it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal. We continue play. But if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet, he's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. I know it sounds crazy. But they plan for everything. First and ten all the way throughout the game. Second and seven, whatever. Right now, he's looking at that play sheet saying, if we get to overtime, what can we break out that they haven't seen? Steps away to his left. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Well, you know me. Whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Here's Richardson to throw. Dancing to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Chandler Jones, one of the best athletes to ever come out of Rochester, New York, in for the sack. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And taken right at the 35. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points, and now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. 
Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. Second and one. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Pollard will take it up the gut, pushing through the contact. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. And another timeout taken by the Colts. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Heavy set out there on third and one. It's a quarterback sneak. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This would be a critical call. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good. And we will play on here in overtime. Oh, that's so deflating, Brandon, because you know he was thinking to himself, just give me a shot. Just put us in a position to win the game, and I'll get it done. But this kick, not on target, and we'll keep going here. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And Richardson slides down after evading the defense, and he moves the chains. Now they'll change things up. First and ten, Richardson looks to throw it. Finding Pittman. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Second down, here's Richardson. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. Now Richardson has to get them to the line in a hurry now. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Let's one go downfield for Pierce. And this one is incomplete. Well, how about this? The very, very rare tie that we just witnessed. Hard to believe. You don't see it very often. A bonus period of football, yet both teams go home a little bit unsatisfied. So in overtime and all the way to the end of overtime, they have a chance to win it couldn't convert on the field goal and we end in the very rare time don't see it very often we did discuss it as we began overtime that because it's a regular season game we're going to play that last quarter and if no one scores or however 